Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sable. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my little, my little world over here. Mostly a fashion world normally, but today we're talking skincare, we're talking beauty, we're talking hair care, body care, everything. We're talking Sephora sale, okay? Cause the Sephora sale is gonna start tomorrow and I was kind of thinking about like, you know, getting my cart together. What am I thinking I'm going to buy? What do I really need? What do I not need? What do I want to try? You know the vibes, you know the Sephora sale vibes, okay? But what I wanted to do is actually come on here and I know the Sephora sale, the Sephora sale time, I feel like is so overwhelming. Like you see everybody's, oh, my favorite skincare, my favorite hair care, my favorite body care, my favorite makeup. And the every single video is like 10 minutes long and they recommend like 50 products in every video and you're like, girl, who is buying all of that, okay? Absolutely nobody. Or you end up buying so many of them and then like trying them and they're not actually as good as they say, have to return them. You know, and some stuff is subjective, obviously, depending on your skin type, hair type, all those kinds of things. So obviously take, you know, everyone's recommendation, including mine with a grain of salt. But what I wanted to do is actually show you guys a lot of products that I use religiously that I'm kind of restocking on for the Sephora sale. So these are items I buy over and over again, sale or not. So like, you know, they're really great products and products that I really love that I'm buying them, you know, sale or not. It's not just, you know, extra overconsumption shit to buy just because the sale is going on. So I'm gonna take you guys through these little products that I've gathered here from my bathroom. And then I'll tell you guys at the end, the new stuff that I'm thinking to try for the Sephora sale, because honestly, like, like I said, the Sephora sale is just such an overwhelming time. <laughs> like the girls, we wanted everything, including me. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, I get so like overstimulated and like overwhelmed by the 500 videos that I'm just like, I don't even know what I want to try. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, go through all of these, tell you why I love them. And you'll see most of these are empty. <laughs> um, so, you know, I really love and use them a lot. Um, and then, yeah, I'll tell you guys a new stuff that I'm thinking to try, which honestly isn't a huge list because like I said, I just feel like I just be shopping at Sephora too much. Okay, girl. It's just like, I don't need all this shit. I'd be looking in my, um, my closet, in my cupboard, in my bathroom. And I'm like, what even is all this shit for real? <laughs> like, so I'm trying not to buy too much from the Sephora sale this year. Um, but let's go through my favorites. Okay. Let's start with skin. First product I want to talk about is one of my favorite, favorite skincare serums. Let me go closer so you guys can see it. It's the Reservatol Serum from Caudalie. From Caudalie. I really love this serum because it's like, it's supposed to be a firming serum. It is on the pricier side. I think this is like $90. Um, but for me lately, since, I, I remember I told you guys in one of my other videos, like COVID, like, I don't know what it did to my skin barrier, but my skin barrier has been fairly sensitive sometimes. So for me to use like a retinol kind of serum, sometimes those are like too aggressive, especially to use on a daily basis. So I've been using this. I've seen a lot of people say, you know, for the price, it doesn't do enough. Like they think it's better to just use a retinol. But I feel like if you're kind of afraid of your skin barrier getting compromised, um, or your skin barrier is already compromised and it's just too sensitive for a retinol, then I would say trying this would be a great option. And then another serum that I really love is this one. It's this UFO oil from Sunday Riley. I feel like this oil isn't spoken about enough. Um, and I remember I posted this, I think in my like um, acne focused skincare routine video. Um, and it really does work great, especially if you're having any, you know, like little breakouts. It works really well to help get rid of these breakouts fast. It does also say, unlike the bottle, like it says, for the management and prevention of acne and blackheads, right? I don't really see so much like the getting rid of blackheads because I especially get blackheads like on my nose, like around here, like on the sides and in the crease. I don't necessarily see a huge difference with the blackheads from using this, but I do say I do see a difference for like other breakouts, like on other parts of my face, not necessarily blackheads. So for that, if that's what you're trying to target, I don't think this actually really works for that. For general other kind of breakouts, I think this does work really well. And then my favorite 
favorite eye cream. This is the best eye cream out there, okay? And I feel like Ryan doesn't get the love the brand deserves. Like, this i feel like is the only eye cream i've used this eye cream now for years i feel like it's the only eye cream that really does help brighten dark circles and it's not it doesn't make your eye area sensitive it is hydrating as well i've been using this eye cream for for years i was so mad when sephora took it out of stores um so i can only get it online which is frustrating like sometimes you know if you run out and forget um but i do think this is a great eye cream i've been using it for years i feel like some of the other ones that people have recommended i've tried like the keels eye cream and stuff like that and i feel like i don't know it just didn't really do anything some of them weren't actually hydrating like not actually brightening this ren one i feel like really is a great eye cream and i'll continue to use it continue to repurchase it miss tatcha we know her we love her the tatcha dewy skin cream again she ran out i love how all my products all my products decided to run out right before the sephora sale <laughs> like the ones that i actually use all the time but it's fine i was like it's fine i'll just buy them now and then buy them again because i was just not going to compromise my skincare routine to wait a week when i'm gonna have to buy these products again without the sale so yeah we have the tasha dewy skin cream we know her we love her it's my daytime moisturizer so hydrating and i love a dewy look i love a dewy skin look like that's my favorite so i've been obsessed with this for i can't remember how long um and i buy the value size so you see the value size has this like pretty design on it i think it's like two fluid ounces or something like that let's see 2.5 fluid ounces so this is like the biggest jar and then another tatcha product i really love the camellia cleansing oil it's such a great oil-based cleanser obviously you use your oil-based cleanser before you go in with your water base so i'll use this first on my dry skin and you really have to like massage it in for a while it's great for getting rid of makeup as well like breaking down your makeup um but i use it even sometimes when i'm not wearing makeup it really does like especially getting in around my nose i find this will help get rid of blackheads but you really have to like you know like work it in there so i've been using this as my oil-based cleanser before i um i go in with my water-based cleanser after we gotta be double cleansing okay tasha products are just so great in general um one of the new products i am going to get technically it's not a new product because i've used this product for many years I just haven't i just don't have it here with me because i threw it away already um when it finished is the tatcha dewy skin mist which kind of came before the dewy skin cream if you're an og tatcha girl i think it was like one of their first products um that they released i so i've always loved the dewy skin mist for years so i'm gonna restock on that as well um and another tatcha product <laughs> i'm a tatcha girl i love tatcha um another tasha product is their blotting papers those are the only blotting papers i buy they're great superb so i'm gonna get those as well i'm gonna get those as well during the sale i just don't have the them here to show you because they're both finished already shiseido ultimate sun protector sunscreen i love this sunscreen the thing with this sunscreen though like you can't be wearing if you don't want to look dewy and almost like wet <laughs> <laughs> don't get this sunscreen this sunscreen gives like vacation like we're glowy kind of vibes because it really is a lot like a lot of times in videos i've had this on because i'll even put this on my body um sometimes a lot of time i've had just this on on my like arms or something in a video and people are like what do you have on your body what do you have on your body i'm like literally just this it makes your skin so like i'm going to try to show you you see how it comes out like that like look at the difference in that look at the difference in my arm it really makes your your body your face everything so glowy so if that's not what you're going for definitely don't use this and sometimes i wouldn't necessarily always use this like under makeup i have used it under makeup but not always i i don't always do that um but yeah it's really great for if you want a body glow like a very natural body glow this is without having to use like glitter or like those pomades or anything like you could use this alone especially for like a vacation vibes so great i really love the sunscreen and it also smells like it almost smells like you should be at the beach so yeah this is sunscreen up close i realized i didn't show you up close 
that's it i love it use it literally every single morning next is fenty miss fenty skin um this is a plush pudding lip mask i love this lip mask especially this green one because it has like a little it has like a little you see almost like glittery like look at that effect on your lips and it's it's so thick and creamy like i don't know i just love it look at that it's like glossy but not like too liquidy you know what i mean you know when some glosses or some mask you put on it's like it's like not giving thick it's not giving hydrating it's not giving what it needs to um so i bought i've been using this fenty skin one for a while obsessed with it will definitely be repurchasing this was the first time the last time i restocked on it was the first time that i tried um this one i think this is like watermelon or something but i really love this one in particular now like i'm gonna keep buying specifically this little green one as well but the other ones are good but something about how this one goes on i feel like it just gives more than the other one so i really like this another lip product i really like is the ula henderson peptide lip treatment i just randomly bought the strawberry sorbet one they have multiple like flavors i think they all do basically the same thing but let me show you the difference i'm gonna wipe off the fenty wipe off the fenty and then let me put this one so you guys can see it you see you even see like kind of the difference in how that looks and this one is like a little bit like a tiny bit colored you see it kind of is hard to see with the lights but you can also see how it comes out you can see it comes out kind of like pinky red like that and it is it's scented and almost flavored i like to even just put on lip liner and put this on a topper i will use either of these as a topper either of these little lip treatments this one or the fenty as like a little topper but i feel like this is great because it's also thicker than some of the other ones like personally i've stopped using the summer fridays one really like i use this um more i feel like the summer fridays one is a bit thinner maybe um i definitely do prefer this it's like more hydrating and i think long lasting i want to go into two topicals products you guys have seen these eye masks everywhere i'm sure all over tiktok instagram wherever i do really love these brightening eye masks they're the faded topicals eye masks um i like them but the thing with them is for me when you put these on like and i don't see a difference within like five minutes like i feel like the longer you keep these on the better they work and i feel like other people have realized that too that's why you'll see people like wearing them all around like even like kyra i've seen in kyra's video she's like wearing it all through the airport all through you know everything she's doing so i feel like with these the key is to leave them on as long as possible like i wouldn't really put these on like for five minutes and think it's gonna like make a huge difference um i would use other eye masks for that the, there are these from wonder beauty that i really like a lot that i am gonna i run out of again but i'm gonna buy them at the sephora sale and they're different than these like these are the wonder beauty ones are more like traditional like wet serum kind of masks and you know the faded ones um they're almost like dry like there's no there's no like serum or liquid inside this packet it's just like dry and you put it on but the wonder beauty ones i feel like i see more of like if i wanted to get like a difference fast i would probably use those over these because the wonder beauty ones um i think say like 15 minutes or something and i do see a difference with those those are my favorite um brightening under eye masks apart from these so those are my two favorites if i was gonna get under eye masks another topicals product is this ingrown um ingrown tonic this is a great product this is one of the few things i've actually seen that work for um ingrown hairs i don't really get ingrown hairs much anymore because i did my whole lasering saga last year um but i do like to keep it on hand you know just in case because i don't think a lot of people realize like when you laser like your hair isn't completely gone like so i still have some hair growth but it is just thinner more sparse takes longer to fill in and because i started lasering now i just continue to shave until i do maintenance and you know with shaving um, it can tend to irritate your skin more than waxing and I feel like since doing laser I went and tried to do a wax once since after I finished like my full lasering treatment and Sometimes when the hair is so thin now and sparse it can be even hard to just do a wax 
So um, you kind of almost have to keep, have to shave and that can still, you know, irritate your skin sometimes. So I just keep this on hand. I obviously don't go through it as quickly as I used to before I started laser, but I do feel, it, feel like this really does work for um, ingrowns go in to a little bit of makeup um, the first act I'm gonna start with because I feel like this is such a if you're trying to buy one thing and accomplish a lot with that one item like if you're really on a tight budget I really think the makeup forever um, HD skin palette is really great it comes in two different sets of tones so it's like a darker deep one and then a lighter one and you see you basically get like concealer, foundation, bronzer, blush, all in one. I think it is like $80 though or something like that. Um, so it is, I mean, it's expensive, but like if you're gonna, if, but think about trying to replace your whole, um, all the steps of your makeup with one palette, like $80 isn't really bad to do that. Um, they're just all cream products obviously though, so you would probably want powders and stuff like that too. But I really do think this is a great palette as you can see i've used it quite a bit i tend to use the blush and bronzer products more because i don't really wear foundation and i already have concealers that i kind of like know and love um but i do think this i do think this is a great purchase if you're gonna like try one thing anastasia my favorite bra product of all time if i'm leaving hair my face with nothing on the one thing i'm gonna have is a brow freeze i need my brows to be frozen okay like you can see this i can't even can you guys see properly like this it's empty like i need to get another one i'll be buying a couple honestly doing the sephora sale because i run through this like i use this a lot literally every single day because one thing my brows are gonna be i just love the brow laminated look honestly and that's what this gives you so i use this just so much religiously like if there's one brow product i think you should get especially if you love that laminated look is the anastasia brow freeze for sure then i randomly tried the ysl lash clash mascara because everyone was raving about it and honestly now i get why it really is a great mascara i want to get the brown one i meant to get the brown one last sephora sale and i just and i think it was sold out by the time i was doing my sephora sale shopping so i think this um this time i will get the brown just because i love the black so much and like for when i'm doing some super light makeup looks like i love wearing a brown mascara so i think i'm gonna get the brown version as well but the black is really great it gives you volume length like this is a it's a really great mascara it is pricey just because it's why i sell honestly i feel like i think it's probably like a 30 dollar mascara um but I really do think it's great. I bought it and I never returned it and I use it. <laughs> and like when I'm doing like heavier makeup or like going out, especially because I don't wear um, lash strips or extensions or anything like that, I always like to invest in a really good mascara. So I really love this, the YSL Lash Clash for sure. And I will be getting the brown. That's one of the new products I'm gonna try. Lashes. I am new to the lash curling game, um, but I bought the Shiseido Lash Curler based on Aaliyah's recommendation and I was like this actually makes such a big difference so I can't necessarily compare it to other lash curlers but she said that this is better than other lash curlers so I'm just gonna trust her because it's Aaliyah um, um so I bought this I think it's like a $30 lash curler but I really do like it um so if you're gonna buy a lash curler why not get it on sale and it seems like this shiseido one is really the best one on the market so let's get into sprays sprays i'm not gonna dwell too much on this combo i feel like everyone uses this combo right now but honestly with this spray like i kind of just use this to like lock in things but i don't think it actually like I have never experienced the whole, oh, I could go swimming and my makeup is fine after using this. Like, I just think it's a good setting spray. I don't think it's like, I don't know, I, unless I was using it wrong, I don't know. Or maybe my makeup steps before were wrong. Um, why it's not doing the whole, oh, you can splash water on your face and your makeup won't budge. Like I've used it and my makeup has budged. <laughs> but I really do like this combination. As you can see, this one's almost done. This one's almost done too. So I will restock on these, but in terms of like, oh, like you could literally run a marathon and your makeup won't sweat off. I don't know if that's the reality, <laughs> but I do like them. 
this is another Caudalie product. Maybe I should have included this in skin. Let me. This is the um the beauty elixir from Caudalie. Um, I like this a lot. Like honestly, I just love. I love spritzes. I love little sprays, especially like when I've had a long day. Um, and you don't necessarily want to have to redo your whole skincare or like have to put on makeup I really feel like the beauty part on this is heavy where it's like it actually does make you like your skin look a little bit prettier When you spray it, it's probably a placebo effect and I'm probably just <laughs> Just because of what it says I probably think that I don't know but I feel like it really does work and as you can see I've used The entire thing I really do love this product uh, and I love Caudalie as a brand I really like I really like a lot of their products to be honest Um, so I do feel like this is worth getting if you like a little, you know, spray a little, spritz a little refresh, you know, love that. Talked about this little beauty many, many times. The Refi Lip Liner in Fawn. I personally don't really use the other side where you, you know, like lock it in or whatever. I just use it as a regular lip liner. And I generally prefer a twist lip liner so I don't have to deal with, um, I don't have to deal with sharpening the lip liner so yeah i love her perfect shade of like nude pink for like my skin tone so i really love to use this as like an everyday lip liner because it's not too aggressive it's not too brown and it's not too on the pink side where it looks like weird on my skin tone you know so i always keep i already have a new one of her in my cabinet but i always kind of like re-up on this so i'm probably gonna just buy another one just to always you know have a little bit extra why not get one of them at least on sale the next product i want to talk about is this makeup by mario secret glow highlighter i love this i love this so much it's almost like like you can see i am not a big like the biggest makeup girl ever okay but i hit pan on this that's how you know <laughs> I really love this. It's like, in reality, it's like, um, let me see if I can get, if there's any left in there. Let me show you. So you can see, it's like a little sticky kind of texture. It's almost like a gel sticky kind of texture. It's not just like a regular highlight. And you just put it, you see how it just did there? You just put it as like a little topper. You can put it on your skin or like I put it over makeup too. I also like to use it to give myself like a little wet eye look. So I like, I like normally just put bronzer on my eyelids and then I'll put this on my eyelid too and it gives it like a kind of a little like wet effect. I love this so much, so much. I randomly just bought it one day and I was like, um, this is amazing. So yeah, I'm definitely buying another one since I've actually hit pan on a makeup product for once. It's yeah, like I said, it's the Makeup by Mario Master Secret Glow Highlighter. Yeah, inexpensive. I guess the color is called expensive. Let me show you the back. Yeah, that's the back of it. Concealers, the two that I've been using for quite a few months now are the Fenty Skin Concealer. Um, and miss hourglass so i'll use fenty almost on like a like a casual everyday but honestly i feel like the fenty skin i wear sometimes even to go out but if i really want like a full beat kind of look honestly i never really do full beats but like a more dressed up kind of look i'll go for the hourglass because this really does give more full coverage than this i use the fenty skin when i'm doing more of a lighter a lighter type of makeup you lo i love both of these this one's very skin like this one's more full coverage i've been using them for quite a while now and honestly i don't wear foundation anymore so i have no foundation recommendation in here because i just don't really wear it i was gonna try the patrick ta one i think um in the sale i've been seeing people rave about it i tried to buy it but i bought my wrong color it was like <laughs> so off i was like were your eyes not working in the store Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't have a foundation recommendation because I just don't even really wear a foundation. Gonna try the Patrick Ta. And yeah, I use the Fenty Skin and the Hourglass Concealer. And you can see both of them <laughs> are pretty well used. Um, but I think I do think I am I do think I am going to try the House Labs concealer though. I've been seeing so many people raving about that one. So I do think that is one of the new things. I'm going to try in um, in the sale. I'll give you guys just two little hair products because honestly, a lot of the hair products that I use aren't actually from Sephora. They're giving beauty supply <laughs> hair.
hair products. I just feel like some of those like moisturizers and stuff work best. So the first one is this Brio Gio um, Scalp Revival um, Pre-Wash Oil. I've been on my hair oiling journey. My hair actually used to be really long, like down to my butt. It used to be so long and yeah, I just started to cut it very frequently and now it's probably like about my mid back, but I want to get it a lot longer again. Um, and I actually used to do keratin treatments on my hair. So I feel like that's straightened out a lot of my hair and now I'm just kind of trying to grow that out because I haven't done keratin treatments for a couple years. I just feel like they weren't really serving me that well and I was paying these hundreds, hundreds of dollars to not really get that huge of a benefit. I've been letting like that kind of straightened part of my hair um, grow out. And so I've started hair oiling. I was using the Mayel, but now whatever is going on there, I can't bother take the risk. I started using this one from Briogeo and I really like it a lot, as you can see. As you can see, she's empty. Um, so I will be restocking on this just to continue my hair oiling journey um, because you can't use this one time and expect to see a huge difference. It's like a, you know, a journey for real. So I will be buying this again. I do like Briogeo products. I do also use their um, Don't Despair Repair hair mask. Um, I just didn't put it in there because I, I don't know. I feel like with hair masks sometimes, like they're, they're good ones, but like sometimes it's not like, oh, one hair mask is way better than every other hair mask, you know, that's out there. So... But if you are looking for a hair mask, I do like their Don't Despair Re Don't Despair Repair <laughs> hair mask. That's the one I'm actually using right now. Gosh, the whole of the front of this <laughs> has rubbed off. <laughs> but this is the Aura Bay moisturizing. Um, it's a moisturizing shine hair cream. I'll put a little picture of it right here so you guys can actually see how it looks. This is the mini size um, of it. I just have the travel size left because I ran out of my big one. Um, but I do love this. I really love this because sometimes I don't want to use like just a hair oil. Sometimes I feel like a hair oil isn't hydrating enough. So I really like a hair creamy kind of product that's not gonna like weigh your hair down when it's um, like, you know, straightened or you have a, a little silk press situation going on. So I really like to use it. I really like to use this. I don't want to squirt out too much. Like you can see, it's just like a light little hair cream. I don't know square still because Orbe products are not cheap, okay? And I'm not trying to waste it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really just, I really love to use this like when I straighten my hair like on the weekends or whenever I get my hair done. I like to use this, you know, for like the daily upkeep and like tame any flyaways. Like, you know, make sure your hair is not looking dry. I think that's it. Let me bring all the products back. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Um, and I told you guys a lot of the new products that I'm trying in between this video. That's basically all the new products I'm trying, the ones that I mentioned. I'm go also gonna try the Patrick Ta Blush Duo. I've been seeing too many people talk about that and I've been using the Rare Beauty one for a long time, the Rare Beauty Hope. Since people were obsessed with that one from like a year or two ago, I've continued to just use mine because um, I'm not one of the girls who have like a million blush products, a million bronzers, stuff like that. I kind of just stick to, like if it works for me, I'm just gonna stick with it uh, until I find something else or until I run out of it. Um, so my Rare Beauty Hope Blush is finally done and um, happy. So they're finally done. So I'm gonna try the Patrick Ta Blush Duo and see how that works for me. And then, like I said, I'm gonna try the House Labs um, concealer. Um, what else did I mention? I think that was it. I may pick up like a couple new lip liners to try. That's pretty much it. Like I don't have that much um, new stuff I think I'm gonna get. I think my Sephora sale this time is really more just targeted on, you know, like picking up stuff that I know and love because I feel like I've just tried so many products at this point. It's like, if it's not broken, why try fix it kind of vibes I'm on, I guess. I guess, you know what I mean? I don't wanna buy a hundred new products and just complicate my life for no reason. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and going through my little favorites with me. Let me know what you're thinking to try for the Sephora sale. I'm going to post this the day before. So um, yeah, let me know what you're trying in the comments. If you're trying anything new or if you have any other good recommendations based on what I showed. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and happy shopping when the Sephora sale comes. <laughs> and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.